Away from it. 13.4 left. Neither team with a timeout. Here's Mitchell. Colburn with 10. Colburn leans in. No. Bradley rebounds and is fouled by Colburn with 7.3 left. Now there's still time left, even if he makes the free throws. Was that what you wanted if you're Mike Rice? I'm not sure if you want him forcing that shot. He wanted to force contact. Take a look. But because they went so quickly, they're still going to get another possession. Watch. That's a, you know, that's a call that's not going to be made. See, that's violating the principle of verticality if there's contact with the, with the movement of the arms. Brownlee's first foul shot of the game, and he doesn't hit the front end of the one and one. It's out of bounds off Rutgers. 5.5 left, that's, St. John's ball. That's an over the back call right there. That is a foul. That's what Mike Rice Take was a saying. Look. I thought it was over the back as well. That's a foul right there on this man. That has to be called. You don't let players decide the game in the sense that if he fouls, it's a foul. Kennedy fouled by Miller, and so D.J. Kennedy, a 78% free throw shooter, will shoot two because Rutgers now committing a 10-team foul. There's still 4.9 left. Time to get down the floor, even if the free throws are good, well, as we take it back to the miss on the other end. A couple of unfriendly whistles, if you might. Well, you see, what bothers me about that is when people say, let the players decide it. If a player goes over the back and commits a foul, he is deciding the game. Kennedy misses the first one. So now Rutgers doesn't necessarily need to take a three. Neither team with a timeout. 4.9 on the clock. The horn sounds here right before Kennedy's ready to take the free throw. He made it anyway. And even though a lot of other people were distracted, he wasn't. So it's a two-point lead for St. John's. Rutgers ball, 4.9 left. A two to tie, three to win. Three-quarter court pressure by St. John's. Long pass down court. Ruta caught it. Turnover. St. John's survives. Wait, he just threw the ball out of bounds. There was still time on the clock. Looked like there should have been time maybe on the clock or maybe even a travel when St. John's got the ball, but there was no whistle and the game's over. Am I wrong? No, no, you're not wrong. I had a hard time with the play on the over the back because this was a really hard played game. Well, first of all, why would you throw it the length of the floor when you have five seconds left? You can still get it in the backboard, right? No, you can, but the further up the floor you catch this thing, the easier the shot's going to be, and that was his thinking. Watch Brownlee here with two seconds left. Three he's steps. Out of bounds. And he, he stepped, stepped out of bounds. Out before he passed it with about one. Well, he traveled nine. two. He turned it over with one second left and then threw it out of bounds, but there was no call. And Rutgers loses. it. Look at this. You're 1.7. He's out of bounds. They stopped officiating this basketball game. Let's see. One, I, two. My, he's out of bounds. Three steps. What, and then he throws it. What happened, Dave, in my opinion, is. Starting with the drive by Coburn, they lost their composure, the officials, because that may or may not have been a foul call, but the over the back on that end seemed to be, and right here, I'm not sure what you've got, but you've got chaos and confusion. Well, he's here. out of bounds. There's 1.7 on the clock, right in front of Steve Lavin, too, and Lavin just put his hands down, not looking at it, and Steve. then he throws the ball out of bounds into the stands, and there was still time on the clock. Before this game ended, Steve was walking up the sideline. I think that's what confused his players. Like, he was heading to shake the hands of Mike Rice, who's in sense and should be. This is an incredibly disappointing ending. He wanted a foul call. I don't know that he even realized that there was a turnover by yep. St. John's, but there should have been 1.7 left, and Rutgers getting the ball still with a chance.